Hello guys, my name's Mooncat, welcome to the channel. Today we're playing a brand new game that's in early alpha. It's called Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. If you guys don't know what it's about, you're going to love it if this is the kind of game for you. You get to build your own battleships, cruisers, destroyers, you name it, you can build it. And you can pretty much build them any way you want, almost. Um, like I said, the game is in early alpha and it does have quite a high price tag if you want to buy it now and play play it now i think in us dollars i think it's around 50 50 dollars to, to to buy in pounds sterling uk that's just over 40 quid it is quite expensive and i would not have bought this game had it not been for a game on the playstation 2 all those years ago called um, naval ops warship gunner which is very very similar you can build your own warships battleships destroys you name it and you can pretty much place almost any component anywhere you want you make the craziest designs you could do whatever you want so this is and i love that game so much this is the only reason i decided to buy this game um that's the building aspect of the game aside play style the game has this very same play style as another game you can get on the pc at the moment it's been out for quite a while it's called victory at sea it plays very similar but in my opinion it's a little bit crude so what we're going to do is um well i've just one on a side note before i start i've tried to make this video so many times now and the game because it's in early alpha does have some issues it does crash <laughs> And that's what I've been experiencing and have tried to make this video so many times that it just keeps crashing mid-game. So we're going to try uh, again. Um, the last um, video I tried to make was, uh, where is it? This one here. Super Dreadnought or Battle Cruiser. And it seems to crash on that quite often. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do something really crazy. Um, I mean, I'm no expert at this game. If you're a, a history sort of freak who loves... Um, making battleships historically correct this is the wrong channel for you i'm not interested in that i'm gonna i'm just here to have fun so we're gonna do the modern the modern battleship um so basically i've got to build a battleship with 145 million funds there are two battle battleships two heavy crew uh, well i don't know why they're separate two heavy cruisers plus three heavy cruisers plus two destroyers plus three destroyers and i've just under two hours to sink all enemies um, okay, so I don't really need any funds. I can, although that is a lot of extra credits, but boost technology, I think is what, I think this is what this calls for. So we'll go ahead and jump in. Uh, so as you can see, I have a massive hull to play about with. There are limits uh, to places where you can build things. So what I'm going to do is... I don't really know what I'm going to do because this is big. <laughs> so hopefully I can maximise accuracy with the biggest guns that I can. That's what I'm going to go for with some secondaries maybe and some, you know, uh, some casemate guns as well. So we'll go from there. So where do we start? Well, we're going to do the, um, we're going to leave the speed roughly as it is. Ra range, very short. We don't need anything longer than that because that is going to be for the campaign only. S bulkheads, many. Definitely, we're fighting multiple ships. We're probably going to be taking multiple uh, shots off them. So we'll leave that at that. So uh, what I'll also do is leave the displacement as it is for now as well. Um, okay, so engine. Everything's unlocked. We'll just go off. I don't really know. We'll go for that. These engines. Semi. Funnel capacity. I don't really know what the funnel capacity and the smoke thingy jiggy is all about. So maybe somebody can maybe somebody can let me in on that. Right, we'll just go for that now. Uh, the iron plating. Obviously, you've got different iron plates and different variations of armor. Well, why would you not know cook for? It's a hell of a lot lighter. It's a hell of a lot stronger. But yeah, it costs a bit more. But we look at the cost. We we know we're near yet. So we'll leave that there. Barbet armor, yes please. At the top, yes please. Double ball, oh thank you. Uh, bolt head thickness reinforced. And if two, definitely reinforced. We can always tweak these once we start getting up towards the weight limit or the cost limit, whatever. Standard shells, we're gonna go for super heavy. We're gonna have increased because there's a lot of ships to deal with. We don't really need torpedo. 
honestly. This is what always gets me here. So we need to find the best one. Well, it's going to be different, so whatever. Electrical. Automatic. Don't need the torpedoes. Range finder. Ooh, this is the difficult bit. Do you go for 10 gun base accuracy or 25% gun long range accuracy? It's difficult. I'm just going to go for the 10 gun base. Radar, absolutely. Radio, well, yeah, well, can I, I don't really know what it does. Right, armour. I mean, this is going right up. Don't know. The cost didn't seem to go up there, neither did the weight. Right, so now we've got a baseline here to play about with. So, guns. Let's talk guns, guys. 18 inches. Reload time of a minute and a, a bit. A minute and 13 seconds. 16s. Hmm. Let's have a think what we want to do here. Look at the range. 14% at 10,000 metres accuracy. 18%. But these are going to be big. These are going to be really big and heavy. I'm going to go for some 17s. And I'm going to go for two barrels. Let's bang these as far forward as we can. One there. And we're going to bang one as far back as we can. I'm guessing these are going to need huge barbets. See, there's not, there's only two places you can put these. We'll give it a go anyway. 17s, double barrel. One there. One there. Okay. Main towers. We can end that. That's it. Nothing more. Seems when you're making this ship, that's all you can have. You can see you've only got a choice of two. Okay, so secondary guns. Six inches dual barrels. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the accuracy first. Hang on. Hmm. These have got bit of, the double barrels have got a bit slightly better accuracy at longer ranges. Love that. Can't have no more down there and nothing like that. But we could have some there. And probably there. Four inch dual barrel. I'll settle for that. Can't put anything more anywhere else though. Sadly. Casemates. There is no casemates. Well, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't work. I mean, that's pretty good. Apart from the weight at the moment, obviously, which I'll sort out in just a second. So it's forward heavy. So we need to just pull this back a bit. Don't think I can move that any further. Nope. Maybe. Don't like it when it does that, that's really annoying. There we are, guys. Uh, still got quite a lot of weight I can play with, and a lot of cost I can play with here. 
got maximum bulkheads. Seems good to me so far. Don't really feel like I need any more. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this up definitely. I want to be invincible. Okay, well, I mean, all I can say is we'll give it a go. Oh, hello. So we picked up on enemies straight away. They are six million miles this way. Which way are they heading? Oh, they're heading my way. That's a long way. That sounded good. <laughs> expect it to hit a sodding thing at that range so I won't worry about it too much it's probably going to take a lot of time to get anywhere near in range and I've only got 500 shells so what I'm going to do what's that AP. I'm just going to put it on save and what I'll do is I'll rejoin the recording once we get sort of within some sort of range 17 inches fired, so and I had it on safe, so it must have been a good chance to hit, but as you can see, it wasn't even close. They are sailing straight to what? What are those little yellow big targets that keep coming up? Like that. We are we are a long way now, a long way from them. Sounds so good. Let's go and follow these shells in and see what they get near. Definitely looks like a battleship. Destroyer, destroyer, battleship. From where it comes out. I don't like the look at that. It's pretty big. Travel time because 17% chance. That's pretty good at this range, I've got to be honest. Let's hope these don't bounce off. I did. And again, it's because of the angle. The angle. It's a really bad angle. There's not a lot I can do about it at the moment because they're heading straight for me. I think I'm just going to save. 
save my shells for now until I can get a better angle because it's completely pointless. I'm going to speed up time. I mean, they haven't even opened fire on me yet. Just hoping they don't change course and come right towards me again. They haven't yet. Here we go, here come the fire. Sounded big. Oh dear. I think was it? Yes, he has. And he hasn't got as much armor as me, though, which is nice. Nowhere near.
maybe because the ship wasn't identified, it just automatically selected HG rather than AP. So now that I've selected AP, the next shot I fired actually really screwed him over. Okay, here come his secondaries. I'm sure I should have put each secondaries on rather than sixes. The 17s don't seem to take as long as reloading as I, uh, as I was expecting, but not the sort of thing. It seems to pass a lot faster than I thought it would do. Okay, just coming into the range now with the 4 inch guns.
orange now as that is starting to take effect. Only with the five, you know, six inches getting to be within. See range now. They're starting to hit. But he can't afford I can't afford to let him get those torpedoes off. I just can't. So I've got to keep an eye on him and hover over him and make sure he's torpedo. So don't launch. As soon as they launch, I need to move. These guys need dealing with sooner rather than later. Fire his torpedoes. Okay, I need to get out of here. I'll be honest, it doesn't turn too well. Lost his torpedoes yet. Come on, guys, why can't I turn right? do 
too soon. There won't be a thing I can do about it because for some reason I can't turn. Oh, I'm turning now. Come on, just sink this damn destroyer, please! slow down a bit now because this is getting silly. I'm taking a right bounding. Maybe I got too close. I don't know if I'm going to better outrun these. But we'll try. I just can't understand with all the armor that I put on on this thing. Mind you, I am. Yeah, well, they've got 17s. 10s and 11s shouldn't really do much to me. That was a nice bounce. Oh, there goes my engine. hasn't got much left in him now. Before I die, let's try and, uh, I know I'm going to die, this is reasons I put the auxiliary engines on because my, both my engines are dead now. I'm running on, on auxiliary. But he just goes to show you can build a hell of a battleship. What he thinks a hell of a battleship. And it will still get its ass kicked. Whether you like it or not, I mean, there is a lot of there's a lot of stuff here, there really is, that, you know, destroyers can only hurt you with torpedoes, light cruisers, 
which are not in this battle. Oh, it's crashed again. Oh, do you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'll upload it for you anyway. Um, and we'll try again tomorrow with another video. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Good night.